bit chilly. I was at my family's farm, where I spent most of my childhood growing up in nature. I remember exactly that moment how it felt like in front of that hut under this big beautiful tree making beautiful noises. I imagined myself dancing and sometimes fighting with the wind. I thought I had a superpower, a super mind where I could communicate with nature. I could feel the energy coming from the ground and running to my body. And I fell in love with them all. I fell in love with the ground, I fell in love with this picture. I fell in love with the wind and the sky, the sun and the moon that the earth has given to me. And I could always feel the energy. Nature was and has always been my friend. And I wish others could see the same way too. Nature as a friend and not a resource to be exploited or be shaped in different ways. I can see the Confederate flag from your mom's backyard. The house is quaint. Hummingbirds visit each afternoon and lap up the sugar water your mom has placed for them. She got so upset one night when she couldn't find the feeder. What will happen to my birds, she cried. We scoured the entire house. No one could find the feeder. She was so distraught, we all went to bed that night, worried for the birds and their well-being. You found the feeder the next morning, absent-mindedly placed in the pantry. Your mom was so excited, she rushed outside to her backyard to hang the feeder. Aren't they beautiful, she cried. Indeed, it was quite a sight. All those hummingbirds swarming around the backdrop of a Confederate flag. playing high up in the mountains where nothing and no one but gods could see us. Witnessing joy is all it takes for me to feel human again. And every time I see us dancing, I feel it too. We were dancers, and still are, but I wonder if our dancing now is no longer just for us when we must dance to ask for coconut tips to be seen as valuable to live. My mom took me to folklorico dance classes when I was five, and I learned what it meant to embody culture, to fully feel and fully express joy. The right steps, turns, dips, and footwork matter little to me compared to the feeling I get when I dance. It's a communal thing to show up and to be seen as much as it is to feel and see with experience amongst other people, friends, family, loved ones. I think we've been dancing for millennia. When I say let's go out to dance, it means let's be together, build joy, and release heaviness. We've always been dancers, and I hope we'll never stop. She screams and cries aloud. Her feet recognize and lose the beat. She 
should use them to drop her body across the floor. You cut her legs off. Then you ask her to run. Like you. Help her or let her be. Stop beating her and cutting her hair. Let her sit in a bath of salty water off her tears to disinfect her wounds. Let her pat herself on the back you broke. Let her mourn her children that you stole, killed, broken, and took as tokens. The souls of those still alive you have taught them to hate themselves, making them hate each other. Please let her heal. The pride of who you are is turning on a rubber band cut apart. The earlier you let go, the less painful it will be for you when the bullets ricochet back seven times old. The cries of the pain behind the leather you enjoy. Let her make new garments. Let her create new ways to adorn her broken body. She does not need your permission. But you keep interrupting. In the name of God, you rid her. In the name of health, you set her growth. Let her be. Stop telling her that she needs your approval. She takes these things as the truth because her mind is pure. You killed her parents, so she has no value. She is not a victim. Let her see her beauty. Let her be. Let her love herself. Let Africa heal. I make images because I'm afraid without them, my memories, my life, and my identity will disappear. I hold on to my family's culture and objects and souvenirs because I'm afraid if I don't, they'll be forgotten. I moved to Lima, Peru last year, just a month after turning 23. I felt better than I've ever felt before, even though I was away from my parents, my friends, and the country I'd fought to belong to for so many years. In Miraflores, I found a home. Amidst the chaos of the city, I found a new peace and a love in my heart so strong that it often brought me to tears. Every now and then, I'd even find myself crying on the bus. What a privilege it was to live in a place where I could go unnoticed, where no discerning white eyes would find me out of place, where my skin actually protected me, made me just another person walking the city streets. I need coordinates. Can maybe my body and mind will coordinate? I thought I would be able to feel the earth vibrate if I could sit still enough. Is there such a thing as enough? I keep seeking more. It is very frustrating, but there's nothing I want more than to keep seeking the tough. I can't stop even when it's rough. I'm living in a state of whatever. I know it will be alright, but I don't know where that is. I want to get there now, the place where I will want nothing more than what is. Living here is a continuous fight with something I call the invisibles. The invisibles that people do not talk about it enough. The invisible that cause so much pain and hardship for international students. The invisibles that are the systems. The invisibles that are new. Many times we face ignorance. We have to fight against it. We have to seek out for ourselves. We have to explain and teach people about our identity, about our legal status. Many times we get disappointed because you cannot keep your promises. My present is finding my own space and creating space for all future international students. My present looks a lot like hot summers, sweaty hands holding each other closely, figuring out the transitions of life, three animals running around sweetly, tackling together what fills us with strife, classrooms in doubt, stressing the heck out, Saying goodbye to our home, helping my mom, tears around the fears that we are all getting older, gratitude for the challenges that make us older. My present looks a lot like you and me, taking a chance to be partners in this crazy world.
We could be a community, but we need to stop and listen to those from whom we steal and oppress. We need social safety nets that take the burden of work off of our backs. We need capitalism to play a smaller role in our lives. Then, and only then, can we become community-oriented peoples who want to help each other pass through this life with grace, ease, and civility. We could be like that. We could all learn a great deal from embodying her boldness, her confidence, and taste for life. I know history has not been kind to us, to you, and I wonder if there's any kind of salve that can begin to repair the deep and unending needs of time. Theta is a product of colonization, but somehow also my champion in resistance of it.
spoke of fighting inspiration in me, in the contour of my words. I'm not a person that emotes that feeling. different life experiences 
And this is going to sound sad, but one of the things was uh, how our past, like the thing that connects us with colonialism, mm -hmm. essentially. Mm -hmm. and, and we're like, whoa, we didn't see like, how those all like coming in. Like, we do have that connection. It's sad, but. Um, and what, another thing that uh, surprised me all, is uh, how difficult technology is. <laughs> and, and how difficult it is to put on a product when the, the whole thing is on a process too. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like the stress and the struggle are coming on trying to make it a product. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. When we were doing it on a process exploration, it was so much fun. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Anything you want to add? Yeah, I agree. I mean, like, like you said, like trying to present something, not exactly knowing what that thing would be on the day. Um, so I think, especially this last week, has been full of like, what if we change this and what if we do this, just to, to be able to show it for now. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I think in my piece, I was also concerned with the voices of the poets not being here. So like, mm -hmm. they've written the works, but we you know are allowing them in a way. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what that you know looks like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ditto what they both said. I have nothing else to add. <laughs> <laughs> so you said it's, it's in progress. Like, what's the next phase of this? Yeah. No, no, no. I was, I was. No, no, no. Please <laughs> speak at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Or what my um, 
my participation looks like because of that. So yeah, that's kind of what it's got me reflecting on. So, can you repeat your question? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, just how has, has this collaboration changed the way that you see your individual practice? And I know that you already think collaboratively. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I, I honestly just like, uh, for me, there's not many people trying to collaborate with people who are different than themselves or like their comfort zone. And they just confirm that this is what I love, this is mm -hmm. what I want to do. I don't want to try to shift my identity to fit with what the, mm -hmm. what the system wants me to be. Mm -hmm. And I think I, it just affirmed me that you could go out affirming me that this is a like you know important work that should be continual and shouldn't be no more. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I really like what you said about the process of it too. Like the process is more important than the actual product. Mm -hmm. And how the product can sometimes I don't know. Anyway, that's something that I've been thinking about as well. No, yeah. I mean I agree like I mean, Katha, that you had mentioned this in our like rehearsal that you also brought up today, like democratizing the process mm -hmm. of performance in theater. Like, I don't have a performance or acting background, <laughs> um, so this was like a really, I feel like, level way for me to be able to participate and contribute. And, like, that's important. Yeah, that's one thing that um, is it called? Like when when I think the first thing I saw when we went in, I said that I'm not directing this because <laughs> like we all like I'm. Um, I, I, this is not experiment, right? I want to try to be like, would it be possible that, that we just have an idea that we want to all do together and that, like, I have direct pieces that's been like, diverse group in the past, but most of the time I'm directing, you know? And like, how can we make it all equal about mm -hmm. And I think this is a successful one in terms of like, what do we do? Because I'm not the only one who answers everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true, mm -hmm. and, and that kind of like, keep all the brilliant ideas coming in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, I'm also reflecting on that, how can we feel better or change, inspire a better system in a way that we don't always have that, like, rule letter to yeah. have it now. Yeah. The first half said everything that the person now have to do. Kind yeah. Of Mm-hmm. 
it seemed like it was someone's story and everyone took part in it and we moved into the next one and the next one. And even coming into this second piece and speaking and talking together. And the music was, was really, 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 I really appreciate that. Just, they have the whole communal aspect of it. Um, and then the buying of us at the audience and encouraging us to speak and, you know, uh, I think that's kind of what I took out of it. Yeah, yeah I want to echo uh, what Chris was saying. Uh, just, uh, it was really cool to see each individual person's part in the first piece, and then you all came together, um, and then uh, we were left with some reflection, which then um, carried on into this piece with the poetic language and the music. Um, really aided in that reflection. So it was each of your pieces, and then it was together piece, and then more of the audience um, reflection. You really can't answer. <laughs>
characters and you know like embodying like a person and not like a thing. Yeah. yeah. But mm -hmm. I, I also appreciate that like your different shirts like I assume you're out here in the wardrobes. Yes. <laughs> Anyone could ever talk. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate it.